Hi guys, what's up? I'm Taylor Ray and you're watching Taylor Ray on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel everybody. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today I'm here to talk about a topic that is very, very, very common amongst a lot of people now, which is manifesting your significant other. So I just wanted to make this video because my shorts went viral on how to manifest your significant other where I pretty much shared a short video about things that I do to manifest my significant other. So to manifest your significant other, there is a couple things that I like to do. So first, I listen to Love Frequency on YouTube and I like to listen to that when I'm in the shower, getting ready and I manifest and while I'm listening to it, I tell myself, I am love, I am lovable, I am worthy of love, and I am loving. And I just repeat that to myself and I start imagining my husband and what he'll be like and what will he look like and what will he dress like and what will he like about me and I'll start thinking about, oh my gosh, he's gonna love this about me, so let me work on that and vice versa. So right now I am just doing this video right off the top of my head as if you are my homegirl listening or my home guy and I just wanted to say that yeah I hope you guys like this video so the first thing I do is I listen to very calming frequency music while I'm getting ready or in the shower and I do my self-love affirmations that's a given super simple the next thing I do is actually really 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 important so I give myself the love that I would like to receive from this person so think about your love language if your love language is words of affirmation I look in the mirror and I say I love you, you're beautiful, you're so attractive, I love you. And that is just one of the ways that you can manifest your significant other closer to you is by giving yourself the love that you would love to receive from them. If your love language is, let's say, acts of service, then do something nice for yourself. Get your nails done and be like, I got my nails done because you know, I'm worthy of this, I'm lovable, so I love myself, so I'm loving my nails right now. That's an act of service. Another thing that you can do that is one of my love languages is treating myself the way that I want to be treated by someone. I really love when people just treat me exactly how I want to be treated. Even sometimes I love that unspoken love language of just knowing and intuition. I like someone to really be able to read my energy and know exactly how I'm feeling and be able to suit my needs and help me when something is on my mind and that's just really awesome to me. So something that I do to love myself the way that I want my significant other to love me is acting on intuition and inspiration. Like if you guys notice, I did trim my hair. It's kind of noticeable, but it's not really that noticeable. It just looks much healthier as you guys can see. Hopefully it looks the same length. I am trying to grow my hair out long, but yeah, some way that I give myself love that I like to receive from my significant other is acting on my intuition because I want my significant other to act on theirs. I want them to look at me and be like, she needs a forehead kiss or she needs a hug or I bet she wants roses today or I bet she wants flowers or I bet she looks like she wants adventure. Like, let me plan a trip to the park. So my way of loving myself that I want my significant other to love me is acting on intuition and really doing those things that I love. So another way that you can attract your significant other is by showing up as the person that you know that they'll fall in love with. If you normally do uh, certain activities every day like staying inside and playing video games, maybe if you know your significant other will love, love, love someone who goes to the gym every day, maybe going to the gym every day is something that you incorporate into your routine because Doing that is gonna make you become the person that they are going to love so much quicker and now you are that person and you have confidence in yourself and you know that they will have confidence in you. This is an excellent way that you can manifest your significant other to you. So another way that you can manifest your significant other to you, um, well this is what worked for me. One time I was like driving and you know, I was just imagining oh, I want to get married, and I was thinking about what marriage is like, and thinking about not just I want to get married, but what does marriage mean? Like, what is the understanding between two individuals that makes them want to be together 
forever. So I was just thinking about that stuff in my head while I was going out to eat and just smiling and really enjoying life and living up to my, you know, energy. And honestly, I was in my head a lot on this day, but actively, physically, I was moving my body and I was dressed really nice and I was just going places because in my mind, I felt like I'm going to meet my husband. So I went out to eat and I actually did bump into a guy that I was, you know, interested in at the time. And I just want to say how quickly these things can work for you and you follow them. So it's just really awesome. <laughs>